daily dose of Potter Genius. Analia is still the most popular area in Pose. Oh, they going everyone? One Dr. Genius here and As you guys can see, it's another wonderful sunny day in Prodigy and the Titan's health hasn't gone down by a bit. It seems like everyone is distracted and the Titan isn't dying. But that's not what I'm here for, I'm here for your daily dose of Prodigy news. What is going on in Prodigy? Is anything going on? Right, so let's get on straight to that. First of all, another exclamation mark can be found lingering over our exclamation mark. What does that mean? Wait, what? Another exclamation mark can be found lingering over our mailbox. What does that mean? Well, not exactly an exclamation mark to number one, but you might wonder what does that mean? Now, if you click on it, it means you have mail. And as seen over here, it seems like Servi is constantly asking us questions, right? And now this question is, how do you feel about doing math in Prodigy? I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I guess you guys could say it's okay. Sometimes they're just way too long questions which like absolutely trigger you, but other than that, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's how I feel in this. You know, that <laughs> it's just that the questions length can make this depend. Like if you guys are doing questions which take like 10 or 20 minutes, it will lower the rating from it's okay to through the floor. Right? Trust me, it will do that. Alright, and nevertheless, you guys can tell you get yourself pizza. So it seems like the party sent out a survey and that's what happened. Now back to our weekly reporting status on the Titan which has started from today. It seems like that the Titan health happens to remain the same as it previously did a few days before I said that the ice tower would be launched. So not much damage has been done to the Titan and I believe that we might have to wait a little bit longer for the ice Titan to come into Prodigy if well, we're not killing off the Titan fast enough. And that exactly over here seems to be the problem. On top of that, many of you guys may or may not have noticed this, but in terms of badges category, Prodigy is adding a lot more math skills into Prodigy which were not there before. For example, I nearly had this entire account finished with all of the math skills. But now, it seems like Prodigy has added ourselves these variables, expressions and equations, percentage, cube and cube roots, playing with numbers, I did all of this like last year or something, I don't know. It's been quite a while since I did some of this. No, it's not been quite a while. I mean, this stuff is used. This stuff is you. In terms of L, in terms of like X and Y's percentages and Q, this is used like every day for me. But other than that, Prodigy has worked on expanding their math applications. So now you guys will have to solve even more questions in order to move on. Have fun with that. I mean, to be honest, I'm here suffering with you guys, but still, you guys can tell Prodigy expanded quite a lot into what they have done. Right, you can see comparing numbers and nearly everything over here is helpful area. So you guys can tell I finished this off and then they start adding new skits. Decimals? Why are there eight different things you need to learn about decimals? I do not remember it being that long, annoying, and tedious. But over here, you guys can see, uh, luckily, I'm at a single 100 ba badges mastered and, well, 77 one skills so that's not too bad it's about uh, 77 skills per badge you know 77 skills per badge isn't too bad right 77 hold up all right guys so it's about seven skills per badge but it seems like prodigy has added quite a lot of things into prodigy themselves and on top of that well what do you guys think would have happened prodigy did add themselves in the ice tower so it would obviously make sense that we have the ice tower achievements and over here you can see here are the ice tower achievements so one of them is free adder from the puppet masters bubble we have done that now after you do that what you see is you'll have to get the arctic fox buddy from it in order to get the uh, title fox tamer and you'll also have to collect a hundred academy pages from there in order to get well the page master and of course for the ice tower you guys will also need to snuck up on them which is defeat 20 ice techniques callers and creators which i managed to finish while actually doing my what do you call them what do you call them i managed to finish this while doing my quests in the while just getting to the eighth floor of the ice tower and another one is it's chilly up here which is done by completing all the floors so if you ask me that's all of the achievements which have been added in some new stuff has been added in and over here you can see your battle request page is something different right something different has occurred to battle request because what happens is you guys can't click on the page you have to actively see another player and click battle them in order to get them and unfortunately it seems like that these new battles are not in the same way as the old ones the new battles which happen from the battle request actually are so boring and old and take place in the old arena. So if you guys want to be in the old arena, well that's a way to see it. Hold up! 
Okay, for a second I thought these were something which you could use for some other reason, like sometimes you would execute people by hanging, but okay. You know, that's what it looked like for a second because you couldn't see the end of the side and I was like, wait, what? But yeah, that seems to be what's going around in the Prodigy world and for some reason Animalia is still the most popular area in Prodigy. We do not know the answer to why that is, but Animalia does seem to be a favorite of the people. And the arena is coming to an end in 20 days. It has been approximately 11 days since I last talked about this and I cannot believe it's been 11 days. Why is time passing so slowly? Anyways, it's only been 11 days, so you guys will have to wait 20 more days for the new arena to come out. What does that mean for you? It means we have to wait nearly until next month in order to start grinding a Prodigy for like maybe 2 or 3 months or maybe to grind in Prodigy for approximately... Four or five months and then have to wait another month in order for Prodigy to add in a new arena. So the vicious cycle shall continue. But anyways guys, that's all for Prodigy news. That's all of the news which I have right now. There's really nothing more I can talk about. Also, this Dragon's Eyes over here continuously change season after season, right? So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge task and keep a task of um, keeping an eye on what color the eye is on depending on what season it is right that is your task you guys have to tell me what I what the eye color is every time it changes so yeah all right guys hit the subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a humongous thumbs up and I will be catching you all next time one doctor genius out the house bye and have a good time how's it going everyone welcome back to another prodigy video and in this video I don't even know what episode it is of prodigy math game update but as you can see we're in prodigy once again and something is up with the elevator the elevator door is open but there's no one inside so I guess we have an elevator door glitch but the main reason I'm here is if you look above our mailbox there is a well another exclamation mark why it seems like prodigy has been asking us a lot of mail lately I wonder what they could want well let's see all right all right so if you click on the number one what you guys can see is survey has a question for us <gasps> we can type well whatever it says it says what do you dislike about battles in prodigy now the thing about this is oh my god okay so I can already think of a alright, so they are asking us what do we dislike. Now I'm I don't wanna be evil or anything, but they're necessarily giving us like five trillion different ways to troll them. I I bet you some guy will just write gibberish all the way through this and be like, uh or some per I wonder do space bars count? <gasps> Bruh Oh no, Prodigy, no, you made it so that blank space bars can count, no! Okay, so it seems like they're asking us what do we dislike about battles. So now it seems like you can only write up to a 250 characters, and I'm assuming is that they will actually have to force people, well, they will have to pay people to read this. So I'd assume that pro if you write something annoying, Prodigy's good. oh, question one of two, there are two questions. So it's... So it seems like we can actually tell them what we d it seems like we have two options to tell them what we dislike. So if I think over here, I think I'm going to type out something. What do you dislike about Prodigy? I guess there are a few ways to type this out, like you could type it in bullet points or you could just, you know, 